Hi friends, I'm Arata from Easy Approach and it's the second video of Flutter development series. In this video, I'm gonna talk about all the prerequisites to start Flutter development. So basically, we need these four things to start Flutter development. The first thing is the tool for development that is Android Studio we are using in this video series. And second thing is the support of Dart and Flutter for Android Studio. The third thing is the Flutter SDK and the fourth thing is the emulator to test our application. So we'll start from the first step. To download the Android Studio, you need to go on Google and search for Android Studio download. And you can click on the first link. After clicking, you can see this screen and the green button on the screen. To download this Android Studio, you need to click on this Android Studio button. And once you check here and click on this button your downloading will start and after the completion of this downloading you can click on this and install this android studio and if you don't know how to install this android studio then you can click on the video that's appearing at the top of the screen it has a complete detail of how can you install android studio after installation and opening the android studio you can see this screen now on your screen there is no start a new flutter project it's because you haven't installed the support of dart and flutter for android studio yet so to download it you need to go here in the configure and you need to click here on the plugins now you have to go here at marketplace and you need to search two different plugins the first one is dart and here you can see the dart plugin and now you can install this I have already installed it so I don't need to install it again. Now you need to search here a Flutter plugin. Now you can install this Flutter plugin as well. So after installing these two plugins, your Android Studio will ask you to restart the Android Studio. And once you restarted it, you can see this start a new Flutter project on your Android Studio as well. Now you can click here. And now click on this Flutter application and there comes the third step which is the Flutter SDK. Now you need to download the Flutter SDK and provide the path where you have downloaded the Flutter SDK. So to do so, uh, what you need to do, you need to first click on install SDK be because uh, to provide the path of SDK, you need to have as SDK uh, on some particular path. So I prefer you to go in C directory and make a source folder, SRC. To create a new folder, you can click uh, here. Yeah. And after creating the source folder, you can uh, create another folder for Flutter. And here you can click OK. So at this, at this place, uh, your SDK will be downloaded. And once your downloading will is completed, you can provide here the path from uh, by clicking this button. So go at the same place, at the same path where you have downloaded the Flutter SDK and hit OK. So I have downloaded uh, in SRC Flutter and here is a folder of Flutter. So just click here and now you can see uh, there is no error of SDK. Now you have to give a unique name because I have already created uh, a project with Flutter underscore app. So I need to change the name. So after giving everything, now you can click on this next and just you need to click here on the finish button and this will create you the flutter project this would take a little time so now our project is created and now we need to set up the emulator which is the final step so to set up emulator you need to go here at the top ABD manager click here and now you can see the the list of Android devices I have already created but on your screen there will be no device here because you haven't created yet so to create a new device create new virtual device and you can select any of the uh, any of the device name and click on next now you need to download one of the Android version from this list so I have downloaded this queue now you can download any of the version you want but I prefer you to download the latest version 
and once you downloaded it you'll you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to click on next and creating uh, the device now click here finish so now it will create a new uh, device here now you can start this device by clicking on this play button So you can see our device is now running now we can test our application so that's whole from uh, this video so we have uh, talked about the prerequisite for starting flutter development so basically we need four things the android studio support for android studio the sdk and, and the last one is the emulator so in the next video we'll be talking about the project structure and we'll uh, make our first flutter application so thank you for watching